Yeah, you're asking about William Clark, Clark's younger brother, who went on to be most famously um, a member of the Lewis and Clark expedition, you know, one of the namesakes of the Lewis and Clark expedition. Um, he also went on to have an extremely long career as an Indian agent and administrator, and for a time was the territorial governor of what became Missouri. So he had a much longer and more distinguished career than his older brother. But in terms of thinking about the revolutionary period, we're thinking about young Billy Clark, a young boy growing up whose brother, George Rogers, would periodically return to Virginia from the West with tales that would stir the young Billy. And he idolized his brother and couldn't wait to be old enough to join him in the West. Um, he enlisted in the Army and fought alongside of uh, uh, of of many future um, leaders in Anthony Wayne's army that famously won the Battle of Fallen Timbers in 1795. So William Clark's career followed his brother. And in terms of how William Clark used his brother's fame and reputation, I would say it gave him credibility when he was recruiting men for the Lewis and Clark expedition. Lewis was living in the East. He was actually living in the White House when the expedition was put together. He was Thomas Jefferson's personal secretary, and Jefferson had been grooming him and systematically teaching him and bringing in experts to teach him about botany, about medicine, uh, languages, drawing even, so that he could draw some of the things that he saw, preparing him for the expedition. Clark when Lewis chose him to be his partner, Clark was the man chiefly charged with recruiting people for the expedition. And it certainly helped that he was the younger brother of the legendary George Rogers, who at the time was in semi-retirement um, in the vicinity of Louisville, um, which was then called the Falls of the Ohio um, at that point. So I think George Rogers, aside from being the ultimate role model of the, of the adventuresome frontiersman, he also lent some credibility to, to William, um, who was no longer a little brother Billy, but now was a grown man and a soldier himself, um, ready to take his place in the um, annals of history.